is bout number five on the card. And this fight is brought to you by the Plaster Wholesalers. Six by two minute rounds, boxing rules in the women's middleweight division. They will be fighting for the WIBA Women's International title. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, trained by Angelo Haider at a Dragon Fire Boxing Gym with an official weight of 72.20 kilograms, wearing the Aqua shorts with white, with a fight record of nine fights, three wins, one coming by knockout, fighting out of the Gold Coast in Queensland, ladies and gentlemen, Connie Chan. And across the ring is her opponent fighting out of the red corner, trained by Lacey and Sam Greco out of Lacey's gym with an official weight of 72.50 kilograms, wearing the red and white trunks with chaos emblazoned across the front. A professional fight record, three fights, one win, one draw, one win coming by knockout, fighting out of Roxburgh Park. She is the current Victorian state champion. She is... Chloe Chaos! When the action begins, your are in charge in center ring, Mr. Jeff Eddy. Well, just remember to listen to my instructions at all times. You can check yourself with your palms, okay? Good luck to both of you. Go back to your corners and I'll call you at the bell. Mark the Hammer Castellini with Scotty Brow. Scotty, you were saying earlier, Connie Chan. She's got a bit of experience there. And with Angelo Hyder in her corner, you can't ride her off. Oh, no, she got in with a very big chance. She's had fought some very good opponents. She um, fought Kay Scott last time out. Kay Scott, an elite uh, amateur career behind her. Um, so definitely not. And Chloe, Chloe's improved in the last couple of fights. Um, it's been really impressive, her improvement. So if she continues to improve, I'm looking for a really big performance from her tonight. Connie Chan here to upset the party. Chaos needs to be mindful of that big rear hand, the overhand right. She switches momentarily from orthodox to southpaw. Now back to, back to orthodox Chan. Chan looking to break range and get on the inside. She needs to move her head going forward. Eats the jab there from Chaos. Yeah, she's got a, a distinct height disadvantage, Chan. So yeah. uh, she's got to try and work her way through that by moving her head. Well, Chloe needs to pull the trigger on that straight left hand down the tube. She needs it to, the chin's a little high. <laughs> Tuck the chin and just punch down and through. Does chaos. Chloe chaos of red, red gloves. Chan in the blue. Chan looking to get on the inside. She needs to move her head going forward though, Scotty. She certainly does. She can't just walk in like that because she's going to get hit with that uh, jab all night. Well, the straight and left, what's uh, worse. It's, yeah, and then that's, that'll be a um, devastating mistake for her if she walks into that all night. Of course, she needs to control the, the front foot positioning. When you have uh, orthodox versus southpaw, there's always a wrestle for the front foot position, isn't there? It is. You want to be on the outside so that you're the one with your... If you throw your straight power hand, it should go straight down the pipe. Nice hook off the lead. Chaos needs to go straight left lead hook or right hook. Trying to pop the jab. Showing good boxing skills tonight, Chloe. She's um, yeah, moving around nicely. Nice step back hook. The uppercut there for the taking as well for Chan. But Chan's intent on just breaking range, but not doing a lot when she gets on the inside, though, Scotty. No, she's not. And that left hand was right there for, uh, for Chloe. She just didn't throw it. I think she's being a little bit cautious at the moment. First round. That's it, run and done. Number one. So how did just you score right that one? Right, that means much doubt. That was Chloe's round. Fight that, uh, between now Chan just didn't do enough to get inside the throw punches. She was caught at too far out of range and getting pulled into the jab of Chloe. But please remember to gamble responsibly. Of course, the fighters go to the corner, and it is the all-important strategic advice from the trainers that can sometimes make the big difference and turn the fight on its head. What will they have to offer? Sometimes the trainers from, from the outside can just see things that you don't see while you're in there and living Absolutely. in the moment. And um, the trick is that the fighters have got to take that instructions and be able to put it into action. And that is much easier said than done.
it can be very easy from out here. It's easy for us to say. Round two. Harder for them to do. Into round two we go. Chan, chaos. Needs to let that straight left go. She's really hesitant in pulling the trigger on that straight left. Is uh, chaos. I'd like to see just really double time with that rear hand. The uppercut as well. There, like yeah, that. She'll, she'll get Chan coming forward if she steps back and gives herself rotational power. Again, one, two. Nice. Nice work from Chaos. Needs to have the chin down. Chan's going to swing from the rafters when given the opportunity. Yeah, Chan's, Chan's in the right spot now. She's in close. She wants to work. Chloe's not letting her... Connie clubbing, Chan. Clubbing right hand from Chan. Nine fights. Nine professional fights in her record versus three the chaos and chance fought for australian title honors before so it's uh, not her first title fight this is a wiba international title fight today with the uh, over six rounds second time that chloe's fought over six oh, big shots landed on chan via chaos hook in the arm underneath was chan these are free up the arms she hasn't thrown those overhands that i thought she would though scotty no, she's getting in position for it, but oh, there's one there, but she's not throwing many of them at all. Chloe working on the inside now. Overhand hook from Chloe. Gives herself room though, Chaos, which is good because she's the taller fighter, so she's not negating her height by crashing forward. She's using that range control nicely. And it's coming off that jab. The jab, she, she knows the jab is a, her weapon to keep that distance. Digs at the body. Of Chan the chaos. Of and that's another round, I think, to, on our unofficial scorecard to Chloe Chaos. Another round in the, the red corner, fellas. unofficially, of course. Chloe Chaos. Connie Chan. Still to come, Steffi Lee Cutting takes on Pam McClellan. Angelo Hyder, of course, trains uh, Silver, the Maloney Twins, Jordan the uh, world champion who defended his title only, uh, only in our last match. Yeah, yeah, great, great, great guys, the, the Maloney boys, formerly, of course, from the Victoria. World heavyweight we'll title. Own, we'll take it. David we'll definitely take it. <laughs> Mini but they'll, uh, of course, up north. Based out of Queenscliff, I think. Now, yeah, Queenscliff, sorry. Queenscliff, the beautiful coastal town. Most part of the world. Round three. Chaos steps back. Let's that straight left go now. So back, back and then forward. Chin up a little high. Chan throwing caution to the wind now. One gets the feeling she's just going to let the big shots go now. She's done with uh, over-strategizing Chan and just trying to get in close, put the head on the chest and let the overhands fly. Well, she's landed a nice right hand. Angelo Hyder calling for Chan to go first, Scotty. Well, wise, wise thing to say. Difficult to execute when you're the shorter fighter because the um, yeah. Chloe's jab's getting her before she gets close enough to throw her own punch. She needs to fake a little bit as well. Fake, draw the shot and then counter fight. Yep and move her head while she's doing it so that she's not there as a target. Tough as you like. Ooh, oh, nice, nice, right straight, nice straight right hand there from Chan. This is Chan's best round so far. I was just about took the words out of my mouth. I'm starting to think alike, which is a worry. <laughs> Maybe I'll be smarter financially <laughs> advising-wise if, if we are. <laughs> but the, on the inside, rapid-fire shots. Tang, it's ugly. It's getting ugly in centre ring now as they tangle up. Steps back. Chloe needs to keep that long range working from the outside and not get sucked into Chan's game of getting forward and, and mixing it up. She needs to hit and then move. Yeah, hit and which, chuck an angle on the end. Which she did so well for the first two rounds. It's, um, it's funny that this round she's just being wrong-footed a little bit. Caught, yeah. caught by those shots from Chan. A tangle up again. Chloe trying to push her off. She needs to turn out to step across and, and try and get Chan off her so she can use that range. With ten, 10 seconds to go, I think this is Chan's round, this yeah, one. Yeah, Chan will 
take this round as it finishes with a flurry. Yeah, definitely a, a very good round from Chan, that one. So potentially two rounds to chaos, round one round to Chan. And you know what, Scotty? Six, it's a six rounder. So well, you don't want three each, do you? You don't, uh, you don't <laughs> want the, the trend of draws to continue. Six rounds. Uh, Chloe has gone six rounds before, um, so Chan's done it a number of times. She has fought in longer distance fights, so she's. We know that she can do the distance and do it quite well. Uh, WIBA title. It's got to be a six rounder. The pro middleweight weight division. only the second time that Chloe's fought in a six rounder so she might be also trying to preserve a little bit of energy for those later rounds. Absolutely and uh, Round four. Connie Chan just happy to keep coming forward. Tangle up again. Short hooks on the inside. Nice hook there from Chaos. Yeah, a bit more work this round compared to last. Tries to get the big overhand right away. Puts her head a little forward, which off balances her slightly. Chan. This is where the legs get tangled up when you get a southpaw versus orthodox. Jeff Eddie keeping them clean, keeping it clean, trying to keep them operating at a good level. Nice turnaround with the footwork there from Chaos. She needs a pop and move, maybe a little bit more, Scotty. Yeah, I was going to say, if she had just thrown that jab at the same time, it would have been very nice. But she's building it up, like she's starting to get the, the footwork nicely now, so yeah. getting that turn out. She's going to give herself a bit of a reprieve from the constant pressure of Connie Chan Chaos. If she uses her footwork a bit more laterally, rather than just going in and out, sidestep and, and move on angles, because Chan will just keep coming forward. Faking there now, Chan, trying to draw fire to counter fight, counter throw that overhand right like that. Nice shot. If uh, yeah, if Chloe can move to the sides, it means that um, the Chan has to reset her footwork completely. Yeah. So it gives you that extra time. If she just steps back, it means that Chan can keep coming forward at her. And yeah. There's no reset. Using angles a little bit more is what Chaos needs to do. Kept the glove up nice and high there to catch that overhand from. Chan rallies back a little now, Chaos. Nicely done. Chan, you can see her looking up. Punching upstairs, Connie Chan. Uppercut beautifully done from Chaos on the inside there. That right, or that left uppercut. So now she's starting to look for that uppercut as well. I'm surprised that Connie Chan hasn't looked for that uppercut a little bit more on the inside. You would have thought that Connie would be able to spot the uppercut, get, get that in there, particularly her, um, her right uppercut. From well, there, she's right there, so it feels like it's that, that upward shot. It, um, geez, that was a tough round to score. I think it could have gone either way. For me, I think Chloe probably landed the slightly better punches, but it wouldn't surprise me if someone did give it to, uh, to the blue corner. Pressure now from Connie Chan. Chloe Chaos doing some good things using a using angles a little bit more. She needs to step out and use those those angles a little bit more and just keep that range control. Well she's got the distance, uh, she's got the longer arms, so if she can keep the distance, she can use that to her advantage. And she's the southpaw, which makes it a little bit more awkward again. So she's not making the most of those attributes. Round five. Round five, we travel. Triple jab and chaos. There's an overhand hook from um, from Chan in there as well. Having a bit of a chat in centre ring is Chan. She doesn't mind the either shot to, to uh, try and break range and get on the inside. It's all very well to wear it. You've got to have that one to come back with. You can't yeah. just wear it and look like you're going to throw the one back. Here comes Chaos now with a nice flurry. Tries to turn Chan that, off and does. That's the step you're talking about. Yeah. Just that getting she's, around to that. She's got, the right, she's got the right mindset. And she's starting to uh, 
to show some good fighting IQ chaos now. So when she feels Connie leaning on her, she needs to do that that little that little quarter turn movement to, to let the pressure ru sort of roll past her and then look for the counter shot. And in here, if she moves to she can move away from from Chan's right hand by stepping across to her this way. Yeah, the way she just went then off to her right. Chan. Relentless in her forward pressure. That's that big right hand go. So just step back and give herself some room. Like that. Again. That's, that's a much better punching range when she is at yeah. the end of her arm like that. Just so you can see the shot when, the, when you're right... Basically, shoulder to shoulder. It's hard to, to see that the, uh, the opportunity for the shot to land. Good punches there from Chloe. Chloe now That's putting some good stuff five. together. The red corner. A better, ra a better round that one for this Chloe Chaos. Starting to turn a little bit and find a home on the turn for those shots. They just score that one, Scotty. I don't think there's any doubt that one was, uh, that was a Chloe Chaos round. But it's important for it to get that one in the bank now. I would have given her three clear rounds, so it'd be very hard for her to lose from here. Connie Chan needs something special. This oh. was her, it is her tenth professional fight. This is the final round, so she's going to have to bring it all out this round. Throw caution to the wind, go swinging. Connie Chan, in turn, chaos. Angles and clean shots to make a statement on the judges' scorecards. This is the sixth and final round. Sixth and final round, here we go. Chan trying to get on the inside, hitting to the body, and then coming up to the head, given the opportunity. Chloe Chaos. Getting, Chloe now, getting on the bike a bit here and uh, just throwing the punches and moving. That's probably the best strategy that she could use. And, Nice, Look nice. Yeah, she's starting That's to nice. starting to put the the, uh, the obvious shots at range, which is 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 going to make a statement on the judges' scorecards. She's literally putting it out of reach. It's it's out of Connie's yeah. reach when she's at at that distance. So in throw and out on an angle. Bouncing up, Connie, showing she's still looking for a finisher. Oh, walks into that left hook. Does Chan. Popping jab. Nice jab and move. That's, yeah, that's she's all she needs to do. She's at her best when she's relaxed, Chaos. <laughs> and it's, just, it's, taken her, it's taken her five rounds to get relaxed. and <laughs> Maybe it's fatigued, but it certainly got rid of all the tension. And now the shots are coming out nice looks, and clean and fluid. Looks beautiful now. Look at that. That is fantastic. That's exactly the nice turnaround. Look at that footwork. Step yeah. through, turn around. Exactly final what she should be seconds. doing. Yeah, fantastic final round, this putting, one from Chloe. Putting it together when it counts now, Chaos. Popping jab, having a bit of fun, looking for that big left hook. Chan, overhand right. Always going to be order of the day for her. I'm, very surprised, she has, I'm surprised she doesn't look for that uppercut off the in, on the inside too. Yeah, very difficult to land it when you're being outboxed as she is this round. One, two to finish yeah. from Chaos. Yeah. There we have it. I don't think there's any doubt about it. Now that's a Chaos on our unofficial scorecard. It was an interesting, uh, early, the interesting early rounds, but then it just tipped away of the red corner. We're feeling Chloe Chaos. As I certainly applied herself well here tonight against the fighter with a lot more professional experience. I think it shows the hard work that Chloe's put in. To have a, a, a sixth round that was that, um, that definitive is a great effort. No disrespect to Connie Chan. She came to fight. She put in a really good performance. She was there for the whole six rounds, kept the pressure on. She still looks, she still looks fresh too, Chan. Maybe she needed it to be an eight-rounder or a ten-rounder. Well... Beautiful looking 
belt with the girls are party court. Yeah, representing John Sheeta. We are waiting to judge the scorecards. Uh, WIBA it is a nice belt, title. absolutely. Good, nice belt indeed. Can I please have both partners in the center of the ring? six rounds of boxing, we head to the judges scorecards for a decision. Your three judges got the contest, 60-54, 58-56 and 58-56. All the way to your winner via unanimous points decision and new WIBA Women's International Champion, Red Corner, Chloe K. Victory to Chloe Gale. Another belt in the collection for her. A beautiful one at that. The way she fought tonight, I think there might be more belts coming her way. She did well. Maturing with each fight, getting a better fight, fight at IQ as she progresses. Enjoying her boxing journey. Chaos. One to look out for, absolutely. The remainder of 2024.